All right, so engine's in. Everything seems to be mounted up. It's looking pretty good. Got some cooling in and haven't really bled it. Haven't even started it yet, but I uh, got some of the air bubbles out. So I got another gallon chilling. So that way I can throw that in there. But um, really the only thing left to tighten up is one of the drive shaft bolts. There's three, there's three bolts. They're kind of in a triangle. I was able to get the top two, but the bottom one is kind of blocked. So I need to get the, the drive shaft to turn so that way I can get that bolt. I'll tighten that down and then I'll get the drive shaft heat shield on. But I kind of just want to uh, just crank it over and make sure everything's good. I was turning it when the engine was out, I, I turned it. And, there was no resistance, so and all the timing marks, timing marks for the cams, the balance shafts, and the crank sprocket lined up, and then I got the um, harmonic balancer tightened down, and the timing mark for that guy lined up on the on the timing cover. So, um, man, I can't think of anything. I'm gonna clean clean all these wire, all these fuel lines up. I'm gonna run them longer. Probably mount the E85 sensor somewhere in this vicinity down here maybe even down there back and then just have the lines run under the intake manifold just so it looks a little bit cleaner and i just got some uh, my old injectors i think these are 930s in just so i can start it up and stuff i got some 1300s with a buddy of mine up in denver so i'll probably get those guys on a little bit later but yeah just a couple things buttoned up just for now i just need to clean up like i need to mount the vacuum distribution block somewhere i kind of just have this fuel pump wire connected just for now just like this so i mean shit man i think i think she might be good i got some oil so what i'm gonna do as far as first break-in i wanted to do the royal purple break-in oil but i figured i'd do the just some straight 30 and then i got some zinc additive some zdp just some high pressure CDP, some zinc, just throw some of that in there, but I'll probably run it for 20 minutes, rev it up, and drive it around for a bit, flush that out, get all the um, assembly lube and all like the nastiness that's gonna be inside just from it sitting and stuff, so drain that out, and then I'll put some good breaking oil in there, and then after the breaking oil, I'll probably just throw some liquid molly, some liquid molly in there, and uh, yeah, we went a little bit looser on the uh, on the ring gap on the pistons, uh, just because I plan on this turbo is just a, a means to an end for now. Plan on making a comfortable six six hundred mid to low six hundreds for now, and then probably throw one of those new G thirty nine hundreds on there and uh, make some pretty good power. So went a little bit looser on the ring gap just so I have a little bit layaway. Might might slap pit might have a little bit of piston slap on cold start, but it didn't go too too loose. I'm trying to think, um, is there anything else? Yeah, I'll probably throw the wheels on. I got these new speed RSE tens wrapped in some Indy 500s just for now. I might sell those and get some other daily wheels, but I'll probably throw those on for now. I got some some M and H's or some. I got some. Uh, some Enkai, some PFO1s wrapped on some M&Hs, so I'll probably throw those on here in a little bit. One of the M&Hs has a bubble on it, so I have to get a new one of those, and they're not cheap. So, yeah, I'm going to throw these on, probably just get the cold start on video, so, yeah. <laughs> See right there, who's rubbing against the head. That was kind of pushing it like that. So it was cock eyeing it. It was pushing it in. And that's what was causing it to spray out of here. The injector.
So, need a new rail. All right, just put the steering wheel back on. Got the battery plugged in. Let's Go mount you guys up. Crank it over for a little bit. All right, so I got the um, battery hooked up. Had a couple fueling issues. Yesterday the rail was leaking a little bit. I got another rail on the way, but I was able to shave this one down pretty good. It's pressurized right now and she's holding, but this is that that rail. It's, a, it's an OEM Euro rail. Uh, over, over Overseas, they... Uh, they came with port injection from the factory, so this was one of their old style rails, but I was able to kind of make it work. Shaved it down right there, hair, but got another rail on the way, so I'm gonna cr crank it over a couple couple times. I got the, um, the coil packs and plugs, so I'm just gonna crank it over, build up a little bit of oil pressure, so that box up. So, yeah, let's see. See she does. Pretty nervous, but I guess we'll find out. All right. She guys mounted up. All right. Let's do this. No leaks. First start. Exhaust burning off some of the coolant that I got on it. Uh, 